<laughs> all right all right what's going on party people this your man grip wanted to do a quick video um cpu courage i think that was the name um asked a question i hope i'm saying that right um but cpu um asked a real good question i'm on my way to pick my son up so i'm gonna turn this ac on because i'm i'm hot as i don't know what just finished doing another walmart delivery so i'm done done for the night but they asked a good question um about tracking my um orders and yes i track my orders um i use notary assist now some people use notary gadget to me it don't matter which one you use some people use excel as long as you can keep track of it i don't care which one you use and i don't have a dog in the fight with either one of those items or those um products so if you use um notary assist cool if you use gadget notary gadget cool if you use something else cool it's all up to you it doesn't really matter to me what you use that's a you decision um now what data and they ask a good question what data do i use to determine whether or not a month is slow well it's more from a month standpoint you have to look at loan applications and i've talked about this a lot in the past and i know a lot of people didn't hasn't picked up on it I know when there's going to be slow months based off of loan applications for house inspection because the loan application, as I've said multiple times in multiple videos, not trying to get on your CPU, but I'm just, you know, communicating this so people understand that I've, that I am talking about this and sharing. You got to folk out there who have been watching this channel for a while. You got to really listen and pay attention to what I'm saying everything rises and falls on on the application if somebody's applying for a loan that's the what that's the, that is what gets the ball i don't know why my nose is itching that is what gets the ball rolling some no the loan officer can't do anything until somebody applies the real estate agent can't do anything until somebody applies and find out whether or not they qualify if they are trying to sell their house they apply and then they pay for an appraisal to get to um, figure out how much the house is worth if they're trying to refinance um doing a heloc doing a um reverse mortgage or anything for as refinancing that loan for as pulling money out or anything even trying to change it from 15 to 30 years or 15 years they do an appraisal on it want to know how much the house is worth want to know the condition of it will the bank get its money back will the, is the is the house worth the effort so if loan applications aren't being done and there's sources out there where you can track loan applications and get an idea um the fred website if you just type in um fred um mortgages or fred you know loan application there's called the federal reserve um economic data that's what it's called federal reserve economic data f-r-e-d um and that has some graphs in it and everything and it tells you what's going on so the data that I use from a month to month standpoint is just keeping an eye on the actual loan applications. If loan applications are down in, what's this here, June, so that means loan applications were down in March and April, which means if there's going to be a slowdown come May. However, it depends on what type of loan applications. So conventional and um, FHA might be down but va may be up and there's a lot more va refinances happening so that's what's been keeping me afloat and going because the v the va has this program called the irrl and i talked about i call it the va earl it was they call it earl i was thinking e-a-r earl or it's early program but it's irrl and basically it allows them to refinance every eight no six months if they got six consecutive payments and they can show that they're going to lower the vets um, monthly payment or interest rate or something um, or there's a benefit for them to get cash out or whatever the case may be so i've been doing a lot more of those so that's the data that i use from a month-to-month -month standpoint is just making sure i understand and keeping track of the loan applications i don't keep a tight tight track on it um, there are some channels that I listen to that talk about it. Um, Reventure Consulting, um, Orlando Minor, and um, Minority Mindset. Those three channels talk about 
um, the loan applications and how things are flowing with those. And if you follow those, Reventure Consulting has a, um, a, a tool that they call um, Reventure. It's um, go to reventure.app and you can go there and look and see in your area how you know what's the loan applications the inventory and all of that they have some premium features and i can't remember what data points is under you know premium and not um but there's other free sources that you can go out there and find what is going on for us the loan applications um they do track that they track that heavily and um then the other thing that you can sort of understand or keep an eye on is just there's a seasonal ebb and flow. Um, the springtime, they're looking for more people to buy homes and stuff because there's more military people transiting, you know, um, re relocating orders are coming in for them to go from one location to the next. You have just families in general moving. The summertime comes because they want to move from this location to that location for whatever reason. And summertime is the best time. Um, is that my buddy? Hold on. Nope. Um, that's what you got to keep in account. Then the wintertime, things get a little slow because the holiday season, everybody's out there just doing it up. And then you have probably till January, February, it gets real slow. So there's various things going on. And, um, and you can search or talk to a real estate agent an experienced one i would say somebody that got at least 10 years in the business and find out whether or not or find out get an understanding of the um the flow you could probably google it you know what's the current you know um real estate trends when do people buy houses the most and the least and all of that and there's some seasonal stuff there's some things that are going on that um the real estate industry actually tracks so that they'll know when to gear up and when not to and all of that kind of stuff so um so that's the data type stuff that i keep track of um on it but it's not hard to figure it out so you might think it, it'll be slow for helocs like right now he's been seeing too many helocs so it might be slow for that but then it could be popping for refinances. It could be popping for other um, loan types. It could be popping for reverse mortgage. And I don't know how to track that at all. I, I don't know what the, the data points are for, you know, um, reverse mortgages and stuff. But just the basics, you can, you know, that's how you just keep an eye out. And that's what I've been doing It's nothing super secret is nothing like oh here's the two it's data that's been out there for eons um for eons you know matter of fact i even did a video a while back showing y'all off of that fred site i believe it was the the um the historical interest rate pattern that this interest rate that we're dealing with is not the highest that they, we've ever seen and showing people so the information is out there. I got all kinds of videos. When I get a chance, um, I could come back and I'll make a, I'll um, do a um, comment and put a link to those videos. But you could also look at those videos. I think if you search Griffin Notary Fred, um, that video might come up um, and everything. All right, I had paused the video real quick to see if I could find that video where I was talking about the interest rates. It was a while ago, um, maybe two years ago. So I have to probably dig and see what I can find um, and then post it up there, you know, put the link up there. But um, yeah, so I did a video a while back. I can't even remember the name of it, um, but it was dealing with um, interest rates and, you know, the, the long term historical um data you know so i'm sorry y'all i'm just trying to find i get i get fixated on something and it's like i got to find this bad boy and i will find it and post it for y'all and um 
Mm, mm, mm. I can't believe I can't find that thing. Oh, well. But once I find it, like I said, I'll post to do a um, thing and I'll post it up there and um, and all that good stuff. But that's the way I, you know, that's the data points that I follow. Um, somebody may have something different um, and everything. But I will say this. I will say this. Don't get all hyped up when you have notary trainers talking about the interest rates are dropping. Some of them cats ain't even really following this stuff and they don't understand the ebb and flows and the trends and stuff. So they're only doing it to try to get more people to buy their course. So you really got to take time out and understand what's going on. And it's really local. It's not nationwide. California is still struggling. But then Texas and um, what's that place? Texas and Florida and Tennessee some things are happening there but the interest rates not going down it's the prices are going down so it's is you know real estate is local so it all depends on where you physically are at um and what's going on and your county might still be hot you know for as overpriced homes but then two counties over or city over it might be you know hey getting cold and you know more inventory and all of that kind of stuff so don't just get all hyped up just because some notary trainer out there is pumping that. They probably don't really follow it and know the data to the extent that they need to to be able to just talk about it from a real educated standpoint. You need to go out there and look at other people who do this for a living and hear what they're saying. And, um, and then keep in mind this. Real estate agents are always going to push for lower interest rates always real estate um real estate agents and real estate or home buying websites like redfin zillow they're going to always push the government for lower rates you need lower prices and case in point i did a refinance for a gentleman i think i talked to you about it where he refinanced last year to pull out money to help his son start a business then he's refinancing two weeks ago again so he could get a lower interest rate his son is hoping that the house prices drop the father is hoping that the um interest rates drop because he's already set in his house so he wants his interest rate to drop which will help his more monthly mortgage payment out the son is like i don't want to overpay for a house at seven percent or eight percent so i want the price of the house to go down and that's where we're at a lot of the older generation wants the interest rates to go down the younger generation are realizing they need the price to go down which one is it going to be that's a good question but i think you will get more people interested in buying if the rate i mean if the prices are lower because you can always refinance down the road. You cannot change your house price. If your house price is six hundred thousand and the home really was only worth three fifty, you cannot go back when the rates change and then say, "Okay, I'm getting my interest rate lower and the price of the loan lower." No, you can't. You're in it to win it. So people are realizing that and they're like, "I need the price to be lower," because the moment the interest rates go down, inflation is going to kick in. The cost of the housing is going to go up sky high. And with people losing their jobs left and right, that's going to make it harder. So if you think about it logically, what will pull more people into the market to buy homes? Lower prices. Right now, many of y'all won't buy cars. Many of you won't buy certain things. Notaries are jumping out of the, the, the business because paper is too high and this is costing too much. So if the price of things can go down, you can deal with the interest rate. You can deal with the interest rate. But I don't want to overpay for stuff. So that's where a lot of the people are at right now. So, but that was just some side note stuff. So um, give me your thoughts and feedback. Thanks for the question. I really appreciate it. That was a great question um, that you asked. And, um, and as soon as I find that video, I'll add it to the, um, I'll add it in there. It's somewhere in here, um, and we'll go from there. So, 
Um, hold on one second. Mm-mm-mm. All right, that's it, y'all. I, I thought I found it, but nope, that wasn't it. All right, talk to y'all later. Peace.